shoulder. Guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We are here with the Kira, with our radiation meter ticking away. The glowing sea is, without a doubt, glowing. This is episode 100 of our journey with Akira. However, that journey is not over yet. And well, Akira is already heavily irradiated, so we're going to have to rectify that before we can continue our adventure in the glowing sea. And to do that, well, we're gonna need one hell of an epic time lapse. So strap yourselves in, kick those feet back, and let's dive on in. <laughs> And, well, that went a little differently than I was anticipating. I will be honest, I was trying to get us back to our home so that we could, uh, well, de radify and resupply. However, we have found something interesting along the way. So, let's investigate. Federal supply sounds nice, and there are turrets. However, the turrets don't seem to be currently active. Okay. Now, do we have an actual interior here, or is this all that we're looking at? This might be it. Well, we're going to have to do a quick sweep of the place, grabbing what we can along the way. We've got some buff out. And, well, so far not too much else. Some psycho that we might potentially be able to use. Hmm. Anything that's actually going to help us is more than likely going to be behind there. Now, we know it can really be hit or miss with these things, so let's do our best and see what we can find within. It's expert, and we cannot do that while in power armor. you got to be kidding me. Well, we're going to be taking a lot of rads. Is it worth it? I mean, we're here. Curiosity, right? Okay, we cannot exit our power armor here. There we go. And, yep, those rads skyrocket. Uh, no, we can't. We can't deal with that. Yikes, get back in there, Akira. Oh, yep. Yep, that's, uh, that's a lot more than we want to be taking. So, while we would want to know what's in there, we can't. No, Akira? You've got to go. Okay, well, <laughs> none of us were anticipating this. I'm sure of that at least. Come on. Not over yet. Yep, get distracted. Go on. Come on. Yeah? No, not today. Not today. Not with the Kira. It might be all of our ammunition that we have left, but we're not going down here. We're gonna take whatever you have, and we're gonna keep on moving. Alright. We are gonna blood pack. Yes, we did use two lots of jet in one go. We're going to be more dehydrated than I would ever want us to be. We're a little hungry, so hey, we can eat some ribeye steak at the very least. <laughs> oh dear, Akira. A lot of our ammunition went into that as well. But that just goes to show how far our gal has come in this time. The fact that she can just piece out a death claw. I mean, yes, it did require a lot of ammunition, but still, we were successful. And as we inch closer and closer towards the, well, outside of this glowing sea, well, I'm going to start that time lapse once again.
And finally, we have the windmill and the rocket in sight with a beautiful sunset behind. Now we are on the edge at this point and I have been on edge the whole way here. You might have been able to see my freak out that I had when those ghouls came out of nowhere where majority of the rest of our ammunition kind of was expent to no real effect. Sticking with the blade in that instance would have been the right thing to do right from the start. But that's what panic can do to you. But for now, at the very least, we can halt that panic. And we can decontaminate. And take a moment and breathe. Take in that purple amber sky and know that for now we survive not bad Akira not bad now our armor at least is in good condition but the rest of us not so much yeah we need to do a fair bit of work on us the first thing that we need to do which is pretty easy is sleep we are rather tired and well we're dehydrated and that, that that health doesn't look good when we get out of there that looks pretty bad we're actually gonna have a blood pack now just so that we can start getting that rising back up because uh, that's terrible <laughs> in actual fact so we're peckish we're dehydrated dehydrated we can over we can overcome that um, yeah because right now we'll be taking periodic damage that's not great you know what just to be safe we are gonna chuck ourselves back into this because um, yeah, we don't want to uh, peg it from being over encumbered. Yeah, no. <laughs> and sleep is definitely something that we need to do, but it's something that we can work towards. The death claw uh, meat, we're going to be able to turn to steaks, which is really good. Uh, but we're going to have one of those ribeye steaks there. Very nice. Very, very nice. We've got wolf ribs, which are cooked. We do have a salisbury steak that we need to cook as well, among other things. So having a look in here, our purified water machine should have been kicking out purified water for us. So I'm going to go across to aid and have a look at that. Purified water, nine. fan freaking tastic It's actually working. <laughs> That's really good. So it's going to take a bit. For us to get out of being dehydrated, we can see that we're still thirsty, parched, and better, properly hydrated. Fantastic. Now, I would hope that sleeping, it would replenish that, but I don't think it's going to uh, exactly. So let's have a look. Hmm. Anything else aid-wise that we're wanting to grab right now? There, there are a whole heap of things that we're going to want to try and grab going into this, but... um. I just want to try and see if we can cook some things as well. Our HP is good enough at the moment that I am tempted to just get to work on a few bits and pieces. But yeah, as, as soon as we jump out of that armor, our health doesn't look anywhere near as good. Okay, let's see. We're going to go straight into roast and roast what we can. Salisbury steak, deathcore steak, lovely. Oh, that's right. We can do one of each. Brilliant. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy about that. We can't make anything else at this stage. That's okay. Having a look at our chemistry station, let's see if we're going to be able to make anything else there. Now, I know many of you <laughs> thought we really should have made some antibiotics before we went away. We're actually just missing the glowing fungus, which we should be able to get those from just around the corner. Um, so we might see if we can grab some of those before we actually call it a day today. So armor... We're going to be utilizing you once again to go to our bed underground. Deep underground. Okay. We'll leave that door as it is for the time being. And we'll just go use our little lookout here to move across and jump on down here where we should have some glowing. Fu mm. We should. We should have some glowing fungi. I hope that in the rat den, we will have some. You know, give it a chance to regrow. It's been a very long time since we've been down here. But um, alas, it seems like most things, they don't grow back. <laughs> oh, no, you got to be kidding me. We just need three. You're telling me that I, I didn't miss any of these? 
Screw it, let's get the radiation. Alright, we got one glowing fungi, totally worth it. <laughs> let's see... Yes, okay, we just need one more. Please tell me that I've missed some. <laughs> I mean, the chances, the chances are there. I mean, that looks like there's some that we can harvest. Uh, no, we've definitely harvested them. Uh, can we move you, Bucket? <laughs> we got both of those, okay. Uh, we got you as well. <laughs> Damn it. Really, we're gonna be one short? Oh no, come on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, oh, and <laughs> that one glowing fungi was the one that broke our back. Now, uh, we probably aren't going to use all of that psycho. So let's just have a look at the safe here. We can go ahead and transfer some of those in there because really we're not gonna we're not gonna need them. Uh, do we have anything junk wise? Really not that much. I've been I've been pretty good. I feel like we've been pretty good when it comes to that. Um, so let's see. We are gonna just go drop off some of that psycho. Three units. How much are you gonna equate to be enough that we can move around? Okay. Well, we are going to be going to sleep encumbered. But at the least, sleeping down here isn't going to, uh, well, make us feel terrible when we wake up during a radiation storm. So let's hope this is going to be uh, safe enough and that we don't wake up with an infection from sleeping on our lovely, lovely bed. Um, oh, cool. We got parasites, though. <laughs> I freaking hate this game. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I hate it. It seems to seldom be like little cause and effect. Um, I mean, yes, maybe sleeping down here could cause us to have parasites. Um, that is true. But then again, sleeping anywhere, uh, even in a very, very clean place, is still going to give us a chance of getting parasites. So, yeah. Well, I guess we're going to use the antibiotics now, aren't we? <laughs> God. This is why we can't have nice things. Yep. Well... At least we know we will be going out into this thing nice and fresh. Yep, definitely know of the fungi down here. It is a shame. But we'll just have to accept it. It is what it is. So we're going to go back up the top and, uh, well, get cooking, make ourselves some antibiotics, and then prepare ourselves to move on. Isn't it 3 a.m.? It is very bright for 3 a.m. Interesting. Well, it's better for all of our eyes, isn't it? Yes. I'm glad this um, fireplace has stayed burning this entire time. It's got a lot of life in that, that wood. In through the door we go. These um, poor turrets of ours. They've been very alert, but they haven't had anything to fight yet. Oh, did we leave you on? Let's uh, turn that off. Actually, we might just have a, a few tiny rats. There we go. All the better. So we're also going to have to have a close look at our ammunition, because, well, we've expended a fair amount of it. Yeah. We're going to have to undo some of that. Or rather swap some swap some out. So, under healing, I think is what we're actually after. We're going to make some antibiotics that we're pretty much going to consume right away because parasites are terrible. They make you just consume ridiculous amounts of food. We could make some glowing blood packs where they actually give us rad resistance, but they also give us rads. So, yeah. Oh, hang on, so, no, that's using irradiated blood. Actually, this is pretty good. It does give us HP and, and the rest, so yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and use some antiseptic. We can make some goods there. And under drugs, we'll see if we can make anything else. Like jet, for example. Oh boy, we have a lot of fertilizer and plastic. <laughs> We're just gonna make a little, just a little bit of jet. Like only just a little bit. I think that's enough. I think I think that's enough. Uh, we can make ultra jet. Okay, we'll just make a bit. We've only got so many blood leaf, so we'll go use the rest of those. <laughs> oh dear. All right, uh, grenades. It's probably just going to be molotovs. Yeah. 
and I think that's pretty much everything that we're going to want to make at this time. We can make bear traps now, which are going to be a little bit on the heavy side. So yeah, weight eight. So that's a that's a no. It's a no from us. Camping gear might be worth us making something so that we can potentially sleep out there. But then sleeping bag still requires quite a bit. A makeshift tent isn't bad either, but again, it's just, can we afford to have that extra bit of weight in our bag? See, a pole tent is even nicer. You know what? We're going out exploring. I'm going to make space for eight weight. There we go. Now, a fire kit and a cooking pot we're going to make as well. We'll make a few fire kits, just so we're actually prepared. They also weigh three, so we're going to see how this goes. This is all my dream to bring these things with me. Whether or not we're going to be able to, that really remains to be seen. So, we do have some right away. We are going to be taking that with us because, uh, well, I just think we're really going to need it. Uh, the Radix does help us. It does make us a little bit more thirsty. I'm in two minds. However, it is really light, so we'll go ahead and bring it just in case. Having a look at the rest, I think we're probably going to leave these here yeah and now just in case we have dropped any in here we'll go across to aid and we'll just have a look and see if we have missed out on anything although i feel like we've got most things glowing blood packs yeah we'll take them thank you uh the great mint hats we're not gonna really have a useful we've got a lot of irradiated blood in here still but just none of the blood packs to make them useful and we're not going to want to take extra rads out there. A lot of mentats. With enough water, we could get ourselves back to being sane. But I I don't think that's going to help us out that much at the moment. And uh, those of you did actually remind me that uh, to make the omelettes, we actually need dirty water. You can't make omelettes with clean water. It's against the rules. So we can't do that. But that's okay. That's all right. So there is more Radix in here, even more, um, and it probably could stack. So if we make it into like a really heavily irradiated area, we might have a look at trying to use that. And now what we need to do is jump back into our armor and have a look at our weapons and try and figure out what we're going to bring. But that's not going to be as interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead till we are completely ready to begin yet another time lapse. Okay, we are all done. We are prepared. We are ready. And look at that. We are even under weight. We're only carrying some screws and some cash on us because you never know when you need some screws. No, the reason I have screws is we've done some work on some weapons. Unfortunately, we don't have any more ammunition for the weapons that we had before. So we've had to change things up a little bit. We still have our sword, of course. But then we also have this here. It's utilizing our 308 rounds. Yes, it is a pipe weapon. But it is a pipe weapon that we've upgraded as much as we possibly can. This is a recoil compensated powerful pipe bolt action rifle. And then for our secondary weapon, we have this, an advanced 10 millimeter pistol. It is suppressed and it is rocking a recon scope. Yeah, let's see how that turns out. With the recon scope, we should be able to be a little bit more focused with our shots. So let's hope that's the actual case. We're gonna chuck that on two and we're gonna chuck you on three. We still have our gorse rifle, should be really needed, and thinking about it, I probably should have used that against the Deathclaw, but you know, what are you going to do in the heat of the moment, hmm? What are you going to do? Run, hide, and cry. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. But for now, we can see that we have our camping equipment with us as well. We have our cooking pot, a pole tent, and we have two fire kits. Looking at this, we could probably bring a few more, but they weigh three apiece, so... I'm not so convinced about us bringing all that along with us. As for our aid, we only have one thing of purified water left, and we are going to take the antibiotics right now. And we're thirsty from a lack of water. Yeah, that's to be expected. We're going to go ahead and have that last thing of purified water. We feel better, but still parched. Did you, per chance, happen to make any more while we've been running around collecting things? I would really be happy if that's the case. If it's not, then... Well, that is a real shame. 
finding, uh, you know, finding those goods out there, it's not going to be easy for us to do. Um, really, I would hope that we have some bottles here. But who knows at this stage? There is an empty milk bottle. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and take you. Oh. And we do have some beer bottles. Fantastic. So what we're probably going to end up doing here is just uh, doing a little bit of a last minute cook. It's going to take us a second or two. We do actually have some water filters that we can utilize. I, I know it's crazy to think that we'll do that, but uh, we are actually going to do that. And so again, just give me a moment and I'll be back. Okay, so we have collected our water. Yes, we are over encumbered. We're going to have to slap a bandage on that. But for now, we're going to go into... Not here. What am I doing? We're going to go over there to the stove instead. Yeah, come on, Akira. We've done this for long enough, haven't we? We are going to... Purify some water. It's going to take quite a few water filters to be able to do this. Uh, well, actually, in saying that... We could leave some water filters left over. And I think that's going to be worth us are doing purely just because yeah we we want to have some left if we need to use antibiotics again we're going to need it so we're going to start off by drinking our purified water but eventually we're going to have to take to using our other stuff so before we forget let's go ahead and slap a bandage on and we're going to go down to that purified water of us and we're going to have something to drink we're properly hydrated fantastic you can see that we also have 11 things of dirty water here it's actually got us over encumbered at this stage what's going to happen very very soon though is we're actually going to lose 10 weight because well a a fusion core that we have is going to eject so i'm half tempted to just take some uh buff out for now However, by taking buffer, it is going to make us thirsty. So it's like, what do you do? Do we just get rid of the dirty water now? Or do we try and push on? I think we're going to get rid of the dirty water. I think that's the safer, more responsible thing to do. Because we're just going to end up losing it either way. So we're going to go ahead and start dropping some of that off. We'll go ahead and just drop off three to start with. Uh, we're going to need another three, if not more. We nearly took all. It's very good that we didn't, otherwise it would take even longer to get prepared. <sighs> Looks like we're going to have to leave most of this behind. That's really upsetting. You know what? Screw it. We are going to drink the dirty water to compensate for it. I know many of you will be screaming at me for doing such a thing, but we're just going to take it. We're parched. We can be parched for now. I'm perfectly fine with that. But you know what we're going to do? I'm going to start that journey back, and it is going to be quite the journey. So, strap yourselves in. We got some running to do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, welcome back. Do you all see what I see? Oh no. Who would even think of doing that? That is a nest of death claws. And uh, yeah, that's three of them. And they're attacking someone or, or something that was attacking them. I saw at least, I swear I saw another one moving. So we have a glowing one as well as a regular one. And they seem to be attacking some folks up here who are firing down upon them on the edge of this large dam. Hmm. Who would be so brazen? Who would do such a thing? Now we are still wanting to make our way to the glowing sea. But perhaps we could investigate that to start. That is definitely a nest of some kind. Those are some very large eggs, Akira. Gonna put it out there, we probably don't want to be facing them, yeah? That's, that's Big Green. Let's not face Big Green. But I am intrigued as to what might be happening here. I think Akira would be too. Those are laser rifles firing, and generally when we've encountered laser rifles in the past, it's been because they are in the hands of the military. And it is the military that we are chasing. 
So let's make our way along here and see what we can make of it. With 20 jet in our pack, we're feeling a little prepared for this. As we get closer, we should go a little quieter, if we can bear it. We might not be looking at too much here, actually. And I gotta be honest, us attacking a whole group of uh, Deathclaws really on my list of things to do. But that looks to me like it could be someone from the military. That looks like it could be combat armor. It's difficult to tell from here. The flight helmet, though, is something that we don't usually end up seeing on military folk. You are aiming a weapon at me. I don't like that. Okay. Well, you ripped through that real fast. Oh, shoot! You... you freaking psycho! What are you doing? I think you actually did set us on fire there. Wow, 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 fire burns. Oh, that burns quite a lot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pipe a blood bag into us. I'm gonna have a cooked Salisbury steak. Yikes. So, um... Don't get burned. Yeah, looks like you could've... Potentially been military at some point. Let's have a closer look at that armor. Tunnelman's armor. Hmm. That weapon would have come from them at some stage. From what little we know of the military, we know that they uh, tend to favor laser weaponry. And while you were defending yourself, we were defending ourselves. I don't think they actually did enough damage to take down one of those death claws, so they. <laughs> They're still roaming around down there. And, as we know, these 38 rounds, they don't do too much damage. Really, if we come up against a foe that we need to take down quickly, that gauze rifle will be what we need to use. Were you just by yourself? Not quite what Akira was expecting and or hoping for. What in the hell? You did take down a death claw. Well, I guess you used most of your, uh, Laser rounds on that, and that's where da that's where laser is really, really dangerous. You don't want to mess around. I could have waited a little bit more to see if she was going to shoot or not, but um, they can do upwards of like 200 damage, even with our armor on. That's going to cut through it like butter. So that's a no from me, but it is a yes to that. Although hmm, even with our increased carrying capacity, that death claw meat is going to have to stay behind. Unfortunately, we are nearing the end of our um, fusion core, though. And I haven't cut away yet. Because we are near something rather large and Sunshine Tidings Co op. Well, it's not what Akira is searching for, and there doesn't seem be a whole heap of activity here. Not the kind that she wants to see, but god damn if we can't pass up some ghoul action. We are Akira Honda after all. Ghoul Slayer is our middle name. Exterminator comes close second. Actually, you know what? You get to live. No, you don't. <laughs> you were just very hard to hit. Okay. Now, the recon scope <clears throat> can actually paint enemies for us. Oh dear, the buff out's worn off. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat. And then I'm going to go drop a whole heap of this water on the floor here. We're going to come and pick it up as soon as our core ejects. Now, when the core ejects, I'm a little bit, a little bit frightened because it says because of the upgrades that we have, that it's meant to eject like a grenade. I feel like we're going to need to run away screaming when that happens. Are you... Hmm. Now, I guess this is something. Our recon scope isn't actually highlighting that enemy, so they might not be aggressive. Are you a sleepy boy? No, you're a dead one. We definitely saw an alive ghoul over here, so we're going to go check that out. Really, not wanting to stay here for long, but, um, yeah, we can't pass up ghouls.
we also, ideally, won't get too close to them. Purely just because, um, well, they are diseased. We can't really afford to be using antibiotics again so soon. Okay, I guess you died. Oh well, you're not a ghoul, but, uh, well the one that was here must have got shot. We just didn't hear it. Jet, don't mind if we do. 45 rounds, we, we don't need them. Uh, we could start collecting them, because they are pretty light, as far as things go. Nice. Ooh, hey, look at that, finally! Permanently collect extra meat from animal kills. That's something worthwhile. As is that. What is with this industrial trunk actually being useful? That's nuclear material, and it's also adhesive. However, at this stage, we're not as likely to actually use it. Most of our weapons are upgraded, and... I can't see us upgrading too much further. Well, I wasn't also expecting them to all be dead, so... We're gonna head back. Yeah, you don't seem to mind us. It must be you that's done a number on all these ghouls. Well, thanks for doing our job for us. Yeah. How nice of you. Yeah, we're gonna leave this be. We're gonna go back, we're gonna grab those bottles, and... To avoid this actually ejecting and exploding, I'm just going to drop the active uh, fusion core that we're using at the moment. Um, which we don't seem to be able to do. So, the way that we're going to do that, let's hope this works, is we're going to go ahead and transfer that fusion core out. No, that's a helmet. <laughs> Goddamn misclicks. At least we can put that back on. Okay, we're then going to go over here towards where the core is. We can see that's on one. Drop that on the ground, luckily hasn't exploded, grab the dirty water, and jump back in the armor. And, theoretically, we should be looking pretty good. Enter. So, the episode isn't over yet, but... Akira, so far, is surviving her 100th episode. Something that I would have never expected her to get to in the first place. But here we are, after all... Of everything we've been through. And so, well, I think it's about time we get that music rolling once again. And we're going to head out that good old green. I say, <laughs> that wasn't very long, was it? No, it's very easy to get distracted and frost and, well, you know what? I'll tell you, I'm not looking forward to getting heavily irradiated again just yet. So, Akira, let's um, see what we can make of this lonely chapel with many bodies outside. We've got Brahman. Is it a... I thought it was a gunshot. Uh, wow, okay. Bit of metal armor here. Interesting. And we have a soldier. More than one soldier. Hiding here behind sandbags. Hmm. Interesting. Trying to stop people from entering or something else. We have ourselves a trap door. Hmm. Okay, Kira. Well, let's see what we can make of this trap door. Federal ration stockpile. Well, now that sounds like it's potentially interesting. And good. Oh, that's not so good, though. <laughs> Why is it whenever we come downstairs, we always hear explosions? I feel like we've got a, a bit of a curse going on here. Other good thing about this recon scope is that it is a little bit night sighty. Oh, actually, no, not at all. <laughs> that's so much worse. <laughs> Like, ridiculously so. Um, uh, I think, I think this actually does more damage than our other weapon. Let's have a look real quick. Uh, so let's see. You've got 30, you do 39. So, yeah, surprisingly, this actually does a little bit more damage. I mean, it is a 10 millimeter round over a, uh, 38 caliber round. Okay. 
Hmm. So, hearing explosions makes me think that uh, we more than likely have some traps ahead of us, so... Kira, if you would... Be very careful as to where you place your feet. I think we'd all be happy and hello, look at that. We have ourselves a turret. Now, I don't know whether you're going to immediately be hostile towards me. I gotta think you will be. Huh? Oh, no, but someone else will be. <laughs> I was not expecting people down here. But it would appear, Akira, that uh, we're not the first to come down here. So, let's have a quick look at our explosives, which we don't have many of right now. We have a pipe bomb, an improvised explosive, and some advanced pipe bombs. We're going to hold on to that as our explosive. We do have um, frag grenades as well. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? With one frag, we should be able to take that down. Nothing there now. And look at that. We can actually see a diamond in our helmet because of our recon scope picking up this as a potential enemy. So let's go take a shot. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, it appears the recon scope doesn't help us very much, does it? Wow. Not at all. Not in the slightest. <laughs> oh crap. Oh, it's a ghoul. Damn it, now I feel bad. Only a fucking coward hides. They don't sound like ghouls. Don't you dare try and throw some at me. Good dodging. Alright. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, let's get out of that. That, again, that is the first time that we've accidentally that done that. Come on. There. We didn't want it to come to this. That is... That is strange. The ghouls, but not ghouls. Something strange going on there with the, uh... Well, the everything in that. Yeah, you don't like us either, do you? Well, we've come this far, are we gonna back out now? They definitely seem to be uh, <laughs> aggressive towards us. Then again, we did just shoot down their hallway with this thing. Um, yeah, it wasn't just a one-off. It appears that this is gonna be absolutely useless for us. <laughs> That is so disappointing. I had really high hopes for this. It's suppressed as well. The only thing I can think of doing is, yeah, no, we're not going to be able to get our insanity down. I have no idea where it's at right now, but it's going to be high. Very, very high. Let's take some Mentats. We'll take some of these. We'll be able to see where some enemies are. We're a little bit dehydrated. We'll go have some more of our purified water. Okay. Yikes, more than I would like. Okay, as for you, Torito, I think it's gonna be worth us spending one of these explosives on it. If this place is a real food store, then it could be very, very good. Now, is a pipe, gum, pipe bomb going to be enough? Not sure. If I can move to there quickly, we can actually get around it. Like that. Okay, here we go. And that did nothing at all. That was super helpful. Very nice. It looks like we've got something else or someone else around the corner there. So what are we going to do? We're going to spend a whole heap of ammunition on this thing? I did something to it. Now, I could have been slightly off with those shots before. Do we want to spend another? We've still got four fragmentation grenades. I'm going to say it's going to be worth it, especially if we can actually get it to land right behind it. We're just going to have to maybe tank a few shots here. There we go. Ah, 
it's it's blocking the explosion. That's got to be what's happening here. That is uh, disappointing. Very disappointing. What can I say? Uh, that's not doing well. Maybe the explosions did do something to it. Come on. Thing is sparking a lot. Go down already. Nearly. Oh, come on. <laughs> There we go. Now I... That might be another turret. Quite possibly. What have we got? Yep, yeah, definitely another turret. Bingo. Covert operations. So the military was definitely here. The question of whether they are still here is up in the air. There is some food. There's not a whole heap of it, but they did have uh, something here. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Now I'm really regretting us not attempting to reduce our sanity. Or rather, try and regain some of our sanity. It's already reduced as far as it's going to go. Yeah, so... A little disappointing that it is as bad as it is. I really thought that uh, that scope was going to be more than good enough on it but uh, unfortunately that's not the case it doesn't seem to matter how good because that's that's the that's the best we can get oh hang on we've only got one thing left yeah <laughs> what am I what am yes. I doing um, okay we do have some entries it'd be good to actually see what they are but we're going to deactivate those turrets first yeah, the recon scope was the best scope we could make. You can't make long scopes for the pistol, so uh, what can you do? All right, let's go ahead, back out of that, and have a look at these entries. This is Captain O'Hanson of the Commonwealth Army. I've moved what's left of my force into the Federal Ration stockpile, but we're under heavy attack from rioting locals. We were able to hold the church, but we've managed to lock the trap door. It's only a matter of time before they attempt the assault of the main entrance. The door should hold with the food here. We'll be able to outlast them. I see. This is Captain O'Hanson of the Commonwealth Army. It has been two weeks since my last entry. I send a scout out through the church entrance to survey the situation. It appears that most of the rioters have succumbed to radiation poisoning. Those remaining have a makeshift camp around our front entrance. In their weakened state, it should be easy enough to surprise attack them on the group. Updating. Update pending. Alright, and our final entry. This is Captain O'Hanson of the Commonwealth Army. The scout that was sent above has developed some unfortunate symptoms. It appears that the radiation levels above ground are much higher than we anticipated. What baffles me is how the rioters still managed to survive. The scout was exposed for less than an hour with a gas mask and radix and is now experiencing a rapid decline in health. Meanwhile, the camp outside our walls only continues to grow. What's their secret? Well, we know all too well what their secret is. What they are capable of. Go ahead and take that ammunition, thank you. Okay, we've got people here. Yes, we do. Calm down. You behave yourself. Now, we can see people, but we can't see traps, so we still need to be mindful of where those might be. And we've just lost our sight, it looks like. Oh no, it has returned. Okay, well, let's keep the sight. I'm going to move deeper in. Okay. Two. Are they right there? No, but one is. Eating food. Shit. What do we do? 
We've already killed people here. They're not like our ghouls. Maybe that's it. It's a bit of tribalism. They're not our people. Well, we lost complete sight of that person. Damn it. I don't blame them as well. If I saw someone <laughs> crouching around in a big set of armor, I'd do exactly the same thing. And there are others. You can get some ammunition from here. Alright. Nothing else there. This place looks like it's sealed up. There's definitely more people here as well. Master. Well, we aren't going to be getting into that anytime soon. I guess we might be able to find that somewhere else. Perhaps on another person. Let's see what we can find. We've committed to this now, Akira. Okay. Behind the boxes. Well, we can see one. Sorry, it's your unlucky day. Human. Okay. Fine, keep your shit. What are you going to do? Can you make it around here? I thought you were going to throw something then. Okay, not sure what she's hoping to achieve there. We keep going. We saw that place before. On our way in, we got a glimpse behind the curtain. With our increased uh, chem perks, you can see that this is lasting a real long time. We got a lot of sight for a good long while. It's another turret, which uh, doesn't seem to be deactivated. It's on a different system. Our friend is right here. Sorry. I think there's another shape there. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see, is this turret going to be a problem? That's a maybe. down the move. Okay. Easy done. It's gotta be an entrance here somewhere. Looks like gas. No shooting in here. Okay. So far, so good. And here we are on the other side. Damn, that was a good hit. You got some strength behind you. 
Just a turret, okay. Let's take our time. Go through. That's a whole collection of people. I do not feel good about this. I don't think we can get to this turret either without uh, getting shot at. Are you deactivated? You don't look like you are. <laughs> well, we can try and antagonize it, right? Yep, nope, you are definitely active. You're not shooting. I don't know if I'm giving you enough time to see me. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna shoot any second. Well, hey, look, we just got a free pipe bomb, right? Let's go ahead and utilize that. Yep, it's definitely working. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that did actually hit. Let's see, are you smoking, sparking, or anything in between? Doesn't look like it. That's very surprising. Well, I'll tell you what. Maybe we could, uh, attempt to use this here. Oh, you're actually making a dent there. Who knows? There's, there's a chance that we could hit. <laughs> wow. We actually got a hit in there. Who would have thunk it with our pistol of all things? Now, we also do have quite a few skills laid into our rifles. That's why we're able to actually shoot with them. We don't have anything relating to pistols, so maybe, just maybe, if we use that level up we just got then, on that, it'll increase our accuracy by 20%. So, I think that could actually help us out in this instance, because Rifleman has helped us out so far, and we're definitely a lot more accurate with that. Maybe, maybe it's worth it. Maybe it isn't. But hey, at the end of the day, it's a skill point. We're going to use it. Yeah. I think it's time. Into the pistol we go. And we'll immediately know whether or not that has actually made a difference or not as I try to shoot this can. Okay, that was a little bit more... Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very much better well I honestly can't tell you whether or not it is our insanity or if we're just really not that great at shooting the accuracy on this weapon isn't terrible it is terrible why is it terrible why is it only 25 I don't know what has given that 25 but that is abysmal, and that will be why it is so bad. The receiver that it has is actually pretty decent. Well, I guess I can look into that. There is somewhere here that we can actually potentially work on a weapon. So we'll do that. But first, let's keep on moving through. Now, can't really afford to take too much, but I'm tempted to take some vodka. Okay. Now, I don't remember seeing our sight disappear, but it might have an inhalo explosion. Or potential explosions, rather. This is a little disappointing. This makes me think that uh, most of the food has already been consumed here. Eh, we'll leave it on. Okay, this might just be leading up and out a different way. Ah, there we go, our Bremen tets have worn off. I am tempted to take some more. They will assist our sanity and they will actually kind of help us out. We'll take the uncooked Blamco because food is very valuable and yeah, that is going to take us out to the Commonwealth. So where is that going to pop out? I'm intrigued because obviously this is all underneath this church. Yeah, the military that work here either have integrated with the uh, people who were here before them, or they have, uh, yeah, something's up there. Now, am I going to take a risk and try and pick these up? No, I'm going to say we're not. It's going to make a bit of a boom. Okay. 
Need to be very mindful that there could be more. Okay, you might have been the one that went boom at the start when we uh, walked in here. Guessing that's the case. A lot of cans here. So there are resources for us to be able to, uh, well, make some things. Oh, I really don't like this. Okay. Please don't do me dirty. Okay, so that's where we came through before, but now we are above. You have another fellow on the ground. Okay. We seem safe. But I can definitely hear turrets on the other side. A stealth boy. Okay. And a bobby pin. That's, uh, that's what we get at the end of all of this. Well, I'm relatively sure that down here we did see a weapons workbench. It could have been a different kind. I might be mistaken in that. Hmm, actually. Am I? I don't know if we've been through there. Ammo box is empty. No, we haven't been through here. Okay, interesting. Don't know how I missed that. Good old YouTube goggles. They do wonders for your perception. Come on. Oh, come on. Novice locks, what? Do I tell you? Okay. Okay, not making any further. This is... you got to be kidding me. Come on. <laughs> come on. There. Okay. Sweet. I swear, the more advanced locks are a lot easier than novice locks. <laughs> okay, well, we found a power core. Um, which kind of helps us and doesn't help us at the same time. Because, well, I mean, it's, it's cool and all. But it's going to weigh us down a fair amount. So, I'm going to see if we can find somewhere where we can have a look at this weapon because I would love to be able to use it I mean we've brought it all this way <laughs> that would be great I'd be very grateful now I'm not sure ah right that's that turret there no <laughs> okay now am I going to try and take care of you hmm Advanced pipe bomb. Hey, it's a little bit less weight, yeah? It's one way to look at it. Okay, definitely made it over that time. There we go. Got him in one. And oh, I'm sorry for making quite the mess. Quite the mess. Eh, we'll take the rounds. Okay, well, no station up here. Now we can be undisturbed. As I attempt to find where this thing was. So I know I saw it here somewhere. But not the amount of food I was expecting either. I think Akira coming in here was thinking, well, there's a chance I might be able to open this place up for all kinds of people. Actually, it looks like... <laughs> looks like for the most part this has remained sealed now we didn't find a password in that other room I would have thought that we would have but uh, I don't recall finding anything which uh, well yeah that sucks well oh, there is a safe here expert Locked tight not gonna happen unfortunately okay and it is a weapons workbench. Fantastic. So, let's have a look and see what we're going to need. And we're more than likely going to have to do a little bit of a run around off camera to try and pick up some of those resources here. Depending on whether or not we can actually make this usable. So, we can see, right, at the moment, this is using... What is this using? It's using a pristine receiver. 
and it says the accuracy in here is 78 which is which is good it's really good and it's actually the best that we're going to be able to get if we have a look at the pristine receiver um yeah i mean that's good so then the question becomes is it the accuracy that we're getting ourselves because then it is us that's causing it we can see the accuracy on this is fine but the accuracy on the pistol drops down to 25. so what is causing that is it our is it our insanity or is it just a lack of skill with the weapon because uh, that drops down a great deal and even this is going down as well 81 but yeah 25 is definitely not the accuracy that it has when we look at it over there right so i gotta think it's there's something strange going on there it's something that's affecting that looking at our statuses really nothing there it should be causing too much trouble yeah we are over encumbered but then again when we are in our armor it's looking fine so yeah it's a tough one 78 definitely 78 yeah it's a it's a strange one to say the least but well for now guys and gals that has been our episode akira has survived up to 100 in the next we are going to be trying to move back on into that great big open waste to explore and see if we can find more of these remnants see if we can find ganon find answers yeah they're not easy to get Akira. And my final note, I have commissioned some artwork for Akira to celebrate her surviving 100 episodes in Frost. Undoubtedly getting further than any character we've had so far. I was hoping to have it ready for the 100th episode, but we're putting a little bit of extra work into it to make sure it's looking absolutely perfect. But that, guys and gals, is us for now. Thank you all for joining me. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Fallout 4 Frost. If you don't know it already, you can pick up the very first piece of Rykon Roleplay's merchandise featuring Leonidas Aventus, the Dragonborn himself. There will be more items added to the store in the coming months, all available at rikonroleplays.com slash store. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to our Legion on Patreon, who continue to make this content possible.